Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Aria Mentor Breast Surgery Series. My name is Sepide and in this video I'm going to talk about the difference between breast segmentation and breast lift and how to know which one is right for you. Breast augmentation and breast lift are both cosmetic breast surgeries that aim to improve the appearance of the breasts, but they are totally different procedures in terms of the way they are done and the results they provide. There are many women who are unhappy about the appearance of their breasts, but they don't know which of these procedures is best for them. If you too are wondering whether breast lift or breast implant surgery is best for you, keep watching. Breast segmentation, as the name suggests, is a procedure that enlarges the breasts and makes them fuller and rounder, which usually involves placing breast implants and sometimes injecting the patient's own fat into the breasts, called a fat transfer or fat grafting procedure. Breast lift or mastopexy, on the other hand, is a procedure that lifts up the breasts and puts the nipples and the areola area in a higher position. It does not increase the size of the breasts, but simply change their shape and gives them a healthier and more youthful appearance. In a breast lift, the plastic surgeon uses different techniques depending on the shape of the breast and severity of the sagging to remove the excess skin, tighten the breasts, reposition the nipples, and reduce the areola size. It is a solution to breast sagging, medically known as ptosis. In women whose breasts have sagged and lose their elasticity and firmness due to aging, childbearing, breastfeeding, or significant weight loss. Now that you know the difference between the two procedures, you probably know which one is best for you. But if you're not sure yet, there is a simple rule. If your breasts are sagging and the nipples point downward or are no longer in the center of your breasts, you need a breast lift. To test this, you may want to carry out a pencil test at home. Just place a pencil horizontally in the infirmary fold that is the fold under your breast if the pencil falls on the ground then your breasts are normal and you probably don't need a breast lift but if it remains there then you should see how severe is the sagging this can be determined by checking the height of the nipple in respect to that of the infirmary fold or the pencil if the nipple is at the same level as the pencil you've got mild breast ptosis or sagging. If it's slightly below pincer, you've got moderate, and if it's much lower than the pencil, you've got severe breast sagging. In some cases, the nipple areola area might sit above the level of the infirmary fold, but there is tissue sagging below the fold, which is common in women who have recently had been pregnant or breastfeeding. This condition is called pseudotosis. In case of having moderate and severe sagging, you can be a good candidate for a breast lift. But if you have mild ptosis or pseudotosis, you need to see an experienced breast surgeon for a more careful examination to see what kind of procedure is best suited for you. Okay, now that things are more clear about breast lift, let's have a quick look at breast augmentation candidates as well. They are women whose breasts are not sagging but are simply too small. Breast implant candidates have got breasts with normal skin elasticity and nipples that are in the right position, but they want to have fuller and perkier breasts that give them more attractive appearance. Now, an important question is, can I combine both breast lift and augmentation? The answer is yes. You may have pendulous breasts, you want to get them lifted, and at the same time, you are unsatisfied with the size as well. In this case, you can get a breast lift to correct the breast droopiness and an augmentation to enhance your breast size. These procedures can be done at the same time in a single operation, or they can be staged and done separately. That is, you have a breast lift first, and after that you completely healed, you have a breast augmentation. Choosing one of these options mostly depends on your surgeon's preference. 
Some surgeons prefer to do it in a single-stage operation, and some prefer to turn it into a two-stage procedure. Overall, what's extremely important is that you choose a plastic surgeon who is qualified and highly experienced in performing different types of breast surgery, so that he or she can recommend the right procedure for you. There have been cases who needed breast lift, for example, but they wrongly had breast implants and the results were just terrible. Like what you see in this picture. Okay, I hope this episode has been helpful in giving you some basic information about the difference between breast segmentation and breast lift. However, it should not replace the expert consultation with a board-certified plastic surgeon. That was all for today's episode. Please subscribe to our channel here to not miss our next videos. And feel free to ask questions in the comment section down below. Also, visit our website at remetro.com and check out our Instagram page to learn more about us and what we do. Thanks for watching and bye for now.